Hi, I have brought another topic for you today and this is partnership formation. Uh, partnership formation means when there are two sole traders working independently and then they tried and then they decided said why not uh, we become partners from uh, today onwards uh, in uh, uh, rather than being competitors why not work hand with hand and now let's move forward and let's see a question in which there are two sole traders and now they are merging these their businesses in order to form a partnership this is not also known as partnership formation or previously known as amalgamation when two sole traders merge their businesses in order to form a new business known as partnership I am reading the question for you. J and K traded separately up till 31st December 1996 at which date the balance sheets were shown below. Now this is an older question because uh, in this uh, question the balance sheet is made in a T account format. Now this is the debit side and this is credit side. Now J and K what do they have? They have premises, they have equipment, stocks also known as inventory, then their debtors also known as trade receivables. Uh, one has a bank balance on the debit side and K has a bank balance on the credit side uh, on the debit side there is a bank balance on the credit side this is a bank overdraft then they have capital uh, they have a loan K has a loan and there are creditors also known as trade payables now let's read the terms at which they decided to form a partnership J and K agreed to amalgamate means merged their businesses and become equal partners as from 1st January 1997 now they are becoming equal partners it was agreed that there are, there are some of the terms of the partnership given. First of all, what we need, there is a required, there we need to draw up the two capital accounts for the partners, showing clearly how the final balances are obtained. What we need to do, we need to make capital account for the partnership. Uh, first, we need to see the terms on which they became the partners. The partnership should take over all of the assets and liabilities of the two businesses, except for the premises belonging to J and loan owed by K. J is not willing to bring his premises to the partnership business. Why? Maybe because of family reasons, uh, his uh, premises was bought by his great great grandfather and he do not want his premises to become part of the business so therefore uh, we allowed him not to bring over his building then uh, loan by k we do not want the loan from k therefore we decided and we uh, told k that he may pay off his loan with himself and we are not responsible for his loan then equipment should be revalued 18,000 for J and 15,000 for K now the previous values were given the question equip for equipment that is 21 and 13,200 if the newer or revalued amount were given we will always be using the newer values and if the newer or revalued amounts are not given we always use the book values uh, because we do not have any other option 6 and videos case debtors were bad and need to be written off now see the case debtors are basically 11,100 we need to deduct this 600 from this figure in order to arrive a realistic value for trade receivables then there is the goodwill I will discussing goodwill in uh, near future uh, uh, then we have all other items to be taken over by the partnership at their balance sheet value now student let us start uh, making the capital account for this question now I'm making a capital account for you there, there are two columns for two partners. If there are three partners, we need to make three columns on the both sides. This left hand side is a debit side and the right hand side is a credit side. Uh, now you may answer a question for me. Whether this partnership was already running in the past or we have just created a newer business, a new business. Uh, Although I can't listen you, but I can listen your voices sorry, from your heart. So there was no partnership before and we just need to make a partnership right now. So there will be no balance brought down in a partnership formation question. There is no balance BD. Uh, although there are capital balances written in the question, uh, J has a 72,000 capital and K has a 39,600 capital. But this was the capital when they were sole traders but now they are becoming a partner and there are some changes in the business uh, we have already discussed some of them one of which is not willing to bring his premises another one we do not want to take his loan and there is a bad debt there is a equipment revaluation there is a goodwill adjustment so in the previous capital balance that is given in the question the, these adjustments are not already adjusted so therefore we do not uh, we will not consider the capital accounts of sole traders but we'll be making capital account with ourselves.
then there are no capital account balances previously now what are the uh, assets that they are bringing into the business uh, j is not bringing his premises but k is bringing it if the premises is coming into the business what will be the entry premises will be debited and capital account will be credited so you may be aware the nature of the capital is credited credit whenever capital increases it is credit and whenever capital decreases it is debited premises is an asset if the asset increases it is debited so there are other uh, items as well one is one of his equipment now that there are two values for equipment given one is the book value and one is revalued amount so if the revalued amount is given will be always be preferring this amount that is 18 and 15000 equipment will be debited and capital account will be credited then we have an inventory named as stock previously inventory is coming into the business inventory debit and capital credit then we have debtors trade receivable. Now you may see in the case debtor there is an adjustment for bad debt. Now I'll be deducting 600 from the total figure 11,100 in order to arrive at a newer figure for trade receivable that is 10,500. Then there is a bank balance for J. J is bringing bank balance 3600 into the partnership bank debit and J's capital credit. Now, if the assets are increasing our capital, the liabilities would do the opposite thing. The liabilities will be decreasing our capital. Now, entry would be trade payables credit because if the liability increases, it is always credited. Trade payables will be credited and the capital account would be debited. Now, we are reducing the capital of both of the partners. Now, as you may see, one of the partners that is K has a negative bank balance because it is written on the credit side that is 2400. Negative bank balance is known as a bank overdraft. Bank overdraft would be credited and capital account would be debited. Now, all of the assets that increase capital are on the credit side and of, of the capital liabilities decrease our capital, they are coming on the debit side. Uh, I hope you are clear till here. Now I am going through the adjustment for goodwill that is very important. What does the word goodwill means? Goodwill means the reputation of the business, uh, the standing, the uh, reputation or maybe the image of the build, uh, business that is built because of successful uh, conducting of the business or maybe the uh, courtesy of the staff, maybe the atmosphere or the ambience of the maybe uh, office or if there is a restaurant, there is a food quality, good quality, good hygiene and there is a courteous staff and there is a convenient location and there is a very good chef who is uh, making very some uh, spicy and delicious kind of food. I hope you are getting hungry. So the, this is the goodwill for the business. Now there are two forms of goodwill. One is an internally generated goodwill and another is purchased goodwill. Internally generated goodwill, if I have opened a restaurant and I am doing very good in my restaurant, I am serving my customers wholeheartedly and I am giving them an, a good service, the, the, the goodwill that I am making with my own, that because I have not bought this goodwill from someone else, I have made it because of my effort, because of my hard work. So this is known as internally generated goodwill. Now what does uh, purchase goodwill means? Purchase goodwill means that I have bought goodwill from someone else. How can we bought a goodwill? Is there is some market from where we can go and just buy a goodwill? Okay, uh, Mr. Uh, kindly give me one kg of goodwill. No, the, there is no market from where we can buy a goodwill. So how can we purchase a goodwill? We can purchase a goodwill uh, through buying a business. Uh, let's uh, me give you an example one of your friend is running a restaurant and it's working fine but he wants to move to some other country and therefore he wants to sell his restaurant now there are two options to sell one is option is that that he may close his restaurant and sell the building separately sell the furniture separately and sell the air conditioners and microwave ovens and stoves and all the cutlery and all this separately the another better idea is that is to sell the business on a running basis sell as a running business put up an ad on a maybe newspaper or classified section or olx and just sell the restaurant as it is basis on a running basis so whenever he's uh, selling a restaurant on a running basis he will or definitely will be getting more value rather than if he sell him on a uh, sell it on a breakup basis 
Now, maybe you are interested in opening a restaurant and, and your friend contacted uh, you and he said that he want to sell his restaurant and uh, you ask the first item, what is the balance sheet uh, value of your restaurant? Balance sheet value means assets minus liability. Maybe the balance sheet value is restaurant is uh, maybe $10,000. Assets minus liability is equal to capital. The capital value assets minus liability is ten thousand dollars. So, what do you think? Whether he will be able, to, he will be convinced to sell his restaurant for ten thousand as a running business? No, because uh, ten thousand he may easily get if we pay off, uh, sell all of his assets separately on a breakup basis and pay off all of its liability. He'll be getting that ten thousand. So, he wants something extra because he is uh, selling the business on a running basis. As a running restaurant, uh, maybe mm, he asked for fifteen thousand, and then you negotiated uh, for thirteen thousand. So you are buying a restaurant for thirteen thousand, which is actually worth ten thousand. So the three thousand dollars extra that you paid him was for the goodwill of the business, because now you not need to. Uh, start a restaurant from scratch because all of the efforts uh, and starting of the business and founding the restaurant and maintaining its uh, customer base and uh, taste and chef and all of the hard work has already been done so what do you need to do you just need to pay him and start earning the money from that restaurant so this is uh, internally uh, so for your friend the goodwill was internally generated and for you because you are paying three thousand dollar extra to him is known as purchase goodwill now why did i uh, told you the story about uh, internally generated goodwill and purchase goodwill if the goodwill is internally generated by your friend if your friend is making a statement of financial position that is balance sheet he or she is not allowed to write that goodwill in the accounts why because accounting standards prohibit recording the goodwill that is internally generated by the owner in the accounts so there are two accounting concepts that basically uh, prohibits us or prevent us from recording the goodwill into the accounts one is prudence concept prudence states that you may not overstate your assets and profits and another one is money measurement concept money measurement concept states uh, that only items uh, that have a monetary value that have a value in dollar or pound or rupees need to be included in the accounts if you have made the goodwill yourself there is no objective value to that goodwill because any value that you place would be a subjective value so if you are asking for a ten thousand dollar goodwill you are not sure whether you will be getting it or not so these are the reasons internally generated goodwill is always eliminated from the accounts only purchase goodwill is allowed to be kept in the accounts because it has a objective monetary value because you have actually paid for that okay so let us start the adjustment for goodwill there are two adjustments we need to be made first of all we need to create the goodwill if we are creating a goodwill we'll be making an entry as goodwill debit and capital credit why is goodwill being debited because goodwill is an asset for the business goodwill will be debited and the capital accounts would be increased with this uh, if we see note 4 in the question uh, uh, by the way the link to this question is included in the description column and the pdf link is available in the video description you may print out the question for your reference uh, in note number four, the, the goodwill is valued at 9000 for J and 7200 for K. Now, the J shop was more popular. J was more popular among customers. So, he has a goodwill of 9000 and K has a goodwill of 7200. First of all, they both brought the goodwill into the business. Because this goodwill is generated by them and they have not bought this goodwill from someone else, this is generated. We need to... Uh, deduct this goodwill from the accounts or we do not need to include goodwill in the accounts so first of all we made the entry goodwill debit and capital credit and secondly we'll be making an opposite entry that is goodwill is credited and capital account is debited now the question we need to ask is sir if we credit the goodwill first and then if we debit the goodwill with the same amount so what difference does it make whether we make the entry or not because the credit and debit side are cancelled out with each other so the answer to this question if you have thought this question in the first place the answer to this question is that uh, there is a mnemonic you need to remember that is NDOC 
Antox stand for new ratio debit, old ratio credit. Now, what does this mean? This means whenever we are crediting the goodwill, we'll be using an old ratio. Old ratio means that before any change, what was the ratio of the partners? Now, previously they were sole traders. The old ratio with this, J bought a goodwill, brought a goodwill of nine thousand NK, brought with him a goodwill of seventy two hundred. This was the old ratio. But in the new ratio, there will be equal partners. So the the ratio is one is to one. Now what was this? Previously was this J's goodwill was this. J said my goodwill is this and yours goodwill is this. Now there won't be my and yours. It will be ours goodwill is this. What is ours goodwill? Now we if we add both of these items, the total goodwill is sixteen thousand two hundred for the J and K partnership. Now if I divide this equally between two of them. Uh, sixteen thousand two hundred divided by two, eighty one hundred goodwill will be charged to both of the account. Uh, now, what is basically happening in this adjustment? What is happening in the background that you cannot see? Uh, now, you may answer my question: uh, Who have a more, uh, who have better goodwill, uh, whether J or K? Obviously, J has more goodwill than K. How much goodwill? Uh, J has how much greater goodwill J has as compared with K. The difference is eighteen hundred. So previously J's shop was more popular. Uh, J has more customers. His sales was greater than that of K. And after that, uh, the business uh, combined. They both combined their business. And in the in future, they will both be earning equal profits. Whether it is fair, whether it is fair for J, no, because J would have. Uh, Maybe a uh, problem with this, a uh, issue with this, and what is the problem that Jay is facing? Jay complains that I have done more hard work than the K, and why I am getting equal profit. So for the hard work that the Jay have done previously, uh, the eighteen hundred extra goodwill that Jay have, uh, we are basically uh, paying Jay nine hundred. That is fifty percent of the extra goodwill. Now what is basically happening? K is buying goodwill from Jay. K is paying nine hundred dollar. So where I uh, where I am getting nine hundred dollar? If you may see, J has been credited with nine thousand and debited with eighty one hundred. Overall, J is credited with nine hundred. J is gaining nine hundred. And if me if you may see, K K is crediting seventy two hundred and debiting eighty one hundred. So K is uh, basically paying nine hundred dollar for the extra goodwill that J has. Half of the extra goodwill that uh, J has K has bought it for. Nine hundred dollar. Now, after that, we both of the partners will be doing the same amount of work and maintaining their goodwill. Okay, so now let's add this all up. The always, uh, as you may be aware, the capital account, uh, the nature of of uh, the capital account is credit. Uh, the greater side is credit in the in terms of capital account, and the lesser side is always debit. So the balance CD becomes balance brought down. So this was basically the capital account for a partnership formation. The second requirement in this question, we need to make a statement of financial position. Again, the statement of financial position that we need to make is of uh, first is on first. Normally, the balance sheet is made at the end of the year, but in this question, balance sheet will be made at start of the year. Means at the start of the partnership, we need to see uh, that how uh, is the partnership balance sheet looks. Okay. Now, uh, as far as goodwill is concerned, we have already eliminated the goodwill. If the question does not mention that we need to keep the goodwill or eliminate it, we will always eliminate the goodwill. But alternatively, if the question mentions that goodwill account shall be maintained, or if the question says goodwill shall remain in the books, what we need to do, we just need to credit the capital account with the old ratio, and we do not need to debit the account. We just need to uh, make one entry that is credit entry. Uh, why? Because the question is specifically asking you for keeping the goodwill in the accounts. Goodwill account is maintained. If the goodwill account is maintained, the goodwill is also being showed in the statement of financial position under the heading of non-current asset. We'll be writing a heading of intangible. Intangible assets are assets that cannot be touched; that they do not have physical existence. And the tangible assets are premises, building, and all this. But in this question, we have already eliminated goodwill. Therefore, I am not writing the goodwill in the statement of financial position. Then we have other items such as premises. We just need to add all of these premises. Then we have equipment. One is eighteen, and another one is fifteen. We need to add both of them. 
then we have non current assets total then after non current assets we have current assets in current assets we have an inventory again we need to add both of these inventories 13800 and 8700 then we have a trade receivable value also known as debtors bad debt has already been deducted no need to deduct it again now we have two bank balances one is a debit balance uh, which uh, of j's and one is credit balance that is overdraft we need to net of both of these figures as you may see a uh, bank balance is greater and overdraft is lesser uh, so if i net both of these the net amount is positive if the net amount is positive this means it is a current asset if the net amount would have been negative this means it would have been a current liability if i add this we need to make total assets so after total assets there comes capital and liabilities value capital liability again in a sole trader or in a manufacturing question we need to write opening capital add profit less drawing but in a partnership question we just need to write two things one is capital account and one is current account now in this question there is no current account why because the partnership business has just been created and there is no current account balance uh, current account is always given in the question why because the partnership is being running from previous years because this is a new business and this is a start of the business there is a no current account right now okay so these are the capital balances we need we, we are just calculated after capital there is a the liability there is a no loan or if there is a loan we will be writing non current liability first that after that we will be going to current liability so there are current liabilities that is trade payables only one current liability is there now the asset side always coincides or equates with capital and liability side so my dear student this was the question of partnership formation so i hope you understood partnership formation the lastly uh, one more thing is asked in the question that is definition of goodwill you may read this goodwill is an intangible asset one that cannot be touched it is the excess of purchase price over the fair value of net assets of the business acquired now for uh, in order to understand this definition you must go through the uh, uh, example that i gave you previously that you are buying restaurant of your friend for 13000 so the purchase price is 13000 and what is the fair value of net assets of the business that is 10000 net assets means assets minus liabilities so the balance sheet value of that business is 10000 and you are paying 13000 for this the excess amount is 3000 that excess amount is goodwill so how has your friend made the goodwill for the business it is the reputation of the business built over successful years of trading or service that means if you are providing a quality service or making selling a quality product and you are very good with your customers and your customers are satisfied with you and you have a good location you have uh, good employees and uh, they are serving your customers really well this means you have made goodwill you have made name or image for the business so this is goodwill so i hope my dear students i was able to uh, transfer my knowledge of partnership formation to you if you like this video kindly do share your precious comments and if you haven't subscribe my channel this is the right time to do it thank you